Well, with Gaza now effectively sealed off, it's very difficult for Western journalists to access the area. It means we rely on contacts on the ground there to help verify and provide information and footage. Yesterday, John witnessed the horror that descended on one of the many Israeli villages attacked by Hamas terrorists. Tonight, from close to the border, he reports on the ordeal being endured by the people of Gaza, including its terrified children, as Israeli bombs fall. Five days into this war, and we know already that humanity is the loser. When a missile strike turns day into night, in Gaza, there is no longer the power to switch on the lights. Electricity is just one essential, absent or in perilously short supply. Israel turned off the water, which makes life at this UN school a crowded sanctuary for hundreds of families driven from their homes even harder. I don't want to go back, says Nismat. They struck all the homes of the people and they destroyed them all. Someone shows us a razor-edged slice of shrapnel from a missile. Children account for a third of the casualties of this war. We ran away after a huge airstrike. There were so many rockets and explosions that would have killed us, says Hatem. They blew up the whole neighborhood. In Gaza, moments of quiet are few and fleeting and always full of anxiety. This is just as one-sided a fight as the massacre of Israeli citizens at the weekend. I'm more afraid. You know, when you see your loved ones, you just have mixed emotions. Like you don't know when will be the next time that you'll see them. Plestia is a journalist and today she reported on the destruction of her own street. The situation is just crazy. Every minute that passes, the situation just gets worse and worse. There is no words to describe what's happening. There is no connection to call people. There is no internet to even post about what's happening. The situation is just terrible, to be honest. And I can't get, I can barely breathe anymore. She was born and raised in Gaza. And war is all she's known. And now, another chapter of the conflict between Arab and Israeli written in blood. We were going to, 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 shelter, to, to shelter we have. To the Few here have any safe place to shelter, but Faisal says he will argue his case for a Palestinian homeland and a Palestinian state. Even as Israeli bombs fall. You think we are young enough to, to bear this? Not the children, everybody. Everyone is dead, has a relative is dead in Gaza. We, we must be aware, enough is enough. Generations of leaders on both sides have failed to find peace, a failure for which children pay the highest price. John Ray, News at 10, Israel.